if I like wanted to, and I was like, yo, Angelina, like, I really like you. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, she wouldn't say no, you know, but I don't think she's actively trying to get with me. You know, I got to ask, there are all these rumors going around that maybe you and Angelina would give things a try now that, uh, you know, she's single. What yeah. do you make of those rumors? Right now I'm on the 18th floor of my hotel. I'm, I would rather jump off this balcony <laughs> than, um, than ever entertain one of those rumors. I don't know if people think that I'm like capping or I'm lying about mm -hmm. this. Like when I tell you there's not an ounce of energy or anything in my body that has any kind of romantic attraction towards Angelina, I promise you, I do not. <laughs> do you think that she feels otherwise towards you? Um, no, but like, she'd probably smash. Like, I'm, you know, I'm a pretty good catch, uh, you know, so if I like wanted to and I was like, yo, Angelina, like, I really like you. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, she wouldn't say no, you know, but I don't <laughs> think she's actively trying to get with me either. Totally. How's she doing? Have, have you guys been talking? Because obviously, you know, you know, an end of the marriage is not a, not a fun thing, not a good thing. Yeah, I see some like messy stuff in the tabloids and stuff mm -hmm. like everybody else. I have literally not spoken to Angelina. Mm -hmm. I haven't even seen her at work, mm -hmm. so I don't really know what's going on. All I know is that they've been going through that on and off divorce stuff for right. like since they got married. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, totally. <laughs> I was no. going to say, like, for years, they've been married for years. For years. So. <laughs> um, how are Polly and Nikki doing? Have you ever thought about your best man speech for that one? Ooh, that's a good one. That has to be epic speech. Um, uh, they're doing great. Um, you know, they're still trucking along, living in Vegas. I hope to actually go spend a lot of time with them out here because, you know, I have a lot of friends out here in Vegas between Paulie and Nikki and all my friends around the strip and everything. So um, I really do like hope to go hang out with them. Nikki's just part of the fam now. Are you dating at all? Are you and are you going to maybe possibly do another season of Double Shot? Um, dating has been slow. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. I, I've been, um, I've been working. I've been like really working out to get in shape for this show. Mm -hmm. And like, when you work out, you can't like really go out, you know, like, you know, I don't want to drink and go get drinks and stay up till this time, you know? So I just moved to Manhattan. So like, I was kind of getting my bearings there and, um, you know, going on a, like, a, when I say dates, like, you know, meeting up for a drink or something like that. Um, but you know, I'm not like actively like scheduling Tinder dates every night, um, <laughs> going to dinners and stuff, but, um, will you see another double shot? <laughs> <laughs> I want to say no, but <laughs> with me, you never know. <laughs> so I'm so excited that you are returning to Chippendales. Are you nervous? It's because it's been a little bit. Um, I'm not as nervous as I was the first time I did it, obviously, um, because I have some familiarity with it. Of course, we decided to like change the show up. So I have to learn new things um, right, you know, com from coming from filming Jersey Shore. So it is a lot, but um, it's going to pay off in the end because each time I do this show, I, I want to like do a little bit more and push the envelope a little bit more and prove to people that like it's it's not just me being a stripper. <laughs> um, it actually is like a legit Vegas show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So what are some of those new things that you can tease that is going to be in the show this time around? Um, well, a lot of the like some a, a lot of my signature staple things are staying there. Um, you, probably should still expect me to be naked in the shower. <laughs> um, but, you know, we added some more dancing and the show itself, like, it's just, um, I feel like the production quality went up. Um, so, you know, I'm just, I'm jumping into more things and mm -hmm. I don't want to give it away, but um, you'll definitely see some cool stuff. Yeah, is it more challenging this time around then? It is a little bit more challenging. Um, as you know, I did the Mass Dancer um, right. about a year ago. So, you know, like I started learning some choreo and I was like, all right, like I could like maybe start implementing this into Chippendale. So um, I like the challenge. I'm definitely not a professional dancer, but I'm always up for the challenge and to see what I can pull off. Definitely, maybe a little Dancing with the Stars next. Maybe we'll see. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to do the whole dancing circuit. <laughs> <laughs> totally. How do you keep yourself in Chippendales shape over the course of the pandemic? Cause I know that you were supposed to actually go back for a second time, you know, before yeah. everything kind of blew up. Yeah. March, 2020 was when my residency was supposed to start. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously that's exactly when the world shut down and it was weird. Like during the uh, quarantine, I actually stayed in really good shape because there was just no distraction for me. I used it almost as like a training camp for myself to 
not have not drink, not eat bad. I mean, I had my cheat meals, but I didn't have any FOMO to like go out anywhere. It was actually when the world started opening back up again is when I started to put on weight because <laughs> I was going out to eat more and partying and stuff. So um, it, it was ch- it was very challenging this time because um, I mean, just when, around the holidays, like I'm not a, a true Chippendale who's just like doing the show all year round every day. So sometimes like I don't get in bad, bad shape, but I definitely had to work really, really hard over the last couple of months to get back into shape. Yeah, definitely. Are you ever self-conscious about kind of like bearing it all on stage in that shower scene at all? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I remember like it's weird. It's like a, it's like a it's like a peak in a valley. Like I remember when I first got there, I was like, oh, damn, like I'm not doing anything near that. And then like after being in the show for a couple of weeks, I was mm-hmm. like, that's like the coolest scene. Like I want to, I want to jump in that. And then like, you know, I saw like Tyson Beckford do it and a couple of the other past people. And I'm like, oh, it's, it's not so bad. It's, it's pretty fun. Now I'm kind of like, I still have those jitters cause it's new again. Like, oh, guess I'm showing my ass again. <laughs> but, um, you know, I don't know. It's just like, once you're in that room and you're in Vegas and you yeah. do it and you see the show in its entirety, like it's really, it's, it's, I actually find it like entertaining and fun.